Hi, Craig here from Teachernology, and in this lesson we want to look at how we can use Google Drive's powerful collaborative features. We've looked at in other lessons how you can set up a shared folder, and this one we want to look at how you can use some of the applications in Google Drive to allow your learners and your students to collaboratively work together. So simply click New, and if you haven't already done so, you can click uh, Create a Folder. At the moment I've already created a folder, and it is a shared folder that is accessible to anyone who has the link. And the link is obtainable from that little icon up there that you can click and you can send on to your students. So I'd grab that link, I'll send it on to my students and anyone at that link can now come in here and get going with the work. So what we want to look at is how we can create various things such as spreadsheets or documents inside of our shared folder. So we're going to look at first is creating a Google Sheet. So we click on Google Sheets. Now it's going to warn you that you are creating this in a shared folder, which basically means that the permissions that you've given, as this particular folder has anyone with the link can edit and not only view, means that anyone can now obviously make changes to this particular spreadsheet that I'm creating, but I'm happy with that, so I click OK. Right, you will now be popped over normally into a new tab where you have an untitled spreadsheet and you can now, like with any spreadsheet, uh, set it up. So it's simple as that. You've now got free reign to use a spreadsheet and you can now set up the spreadsheet however you wish. Very powerful, it's, it's very similar to Excel, got all sorts of features such as, as charts, etc. Um, but the, the real power comes in the ability that multiple people can work in the spreadsheet at the same time. Okay, let's say for example we want to set up a, a spreadsheet for our class, we want the name of the person, and maybe it's a spreadsheet that's either going to go out to the class or to their to their parents, and we want the parents, say for example, to come and see us. So we want to know what time they can come and see us. So we'd simply set up a spreadsheet like this. They can book appointments now in here, and we may want to put a couple of available time slots to, to get going. So we can just fill in the time slots here. Right, now once we've done this, we could share this with the parents. And the parents would then independently, once they have the link, be able to come in here and type in their name. So we could say the Jones parents, and they would leave the spreadsheet. Someone else could then come in and they would immediately see, oh, that slot has been taken, and they would then come in later and be able to grab a, another slot. And so this is a collaborative space where multiple people are able to come in and simply fill in the details. So multiple people can be coming into the single spreadsheet and entering details into it. So that's just an example of collaborating around a spreadsheet. So it's a simple way of doing it. We just created a spreadsheet. It's a shared spreadsheet. We can simply share the link to the spreadsheet, which I will show you now in a moment. And anyone who has a link can now come in and enter details into the spreadsheet. What we haven't done so far is given the spreadsheet a name. So let's just call it booking form. And that's just the name for the spreadsheet. If we come back to our Google Docs page, we'll see the spreadsheet is here, and in a moment it will be updated to reflect the new name. Now, we may not want to share the entire folder with the parents. So in this particular booking form, we may just want to share this with the parents and not have them have access to our entire folder. That is also possible. To do that, simply at the moment, you can just right-click on the name of the file, and you will see here where it's got Share. Again, you can click Share and it'll bring you the direct link to the spreadsheet. So copying this link will allow you to share just the spreadsheet with people um, who now have the link to access the spreadsheet. So rather than sharing the entire folder, you can get a link just to the spreadsheet. So it's as simple as that. We would then copy that link and send it to the parents. So that's collaborating around a Google Sheet, simple way of creating a sheet that multiple people can access and edit at the same time. As simple as... Um, falling off a bed, I suppose. That's Google Sheets. In the next one, we'll have a look at how we can collaborate around Google Docs and the power of conversation and correcting in Google Docs.